everybody. Welcome back guys, it's been a long time. What are we up to today? Today we're just walking around beautiful Singapore. It's a wonderful day. The weather is Perfect. very nice. It is like pleasant, not humid, not hot. Like I could keep going forever right now. Let's do it. So today we uh, decided to take a stroll and uh, heard that there's this giant inflatable dude named Kaz that has been making his way around the world and he's currently here in Singapore. I don't know much about the artists or anything, but there's a huge cult following. Apparently it's an American artist uh, who may cause his claim to fame. Yeah, we started the walk off at the Esplanade, so the durian shape building. Um, saw some artwork in there, which was pretty cool. And uh, now, yeah, where are we headed? Right now we're headed towards uh, Marina Bay Sands. We're gonna cool off, even though it's nice out, but we'll head inside, walk around, maybe do a little shopping, and then We'll make our way out at the other end and uh, continue our walking. That's right. Super amused by this rollerblader. Like he's insane. Check it out. That little wall thing back there. I mean, it doesn't look like much right now, but those are all Rubik's Cubes, and these guys are here on a Saturday night putting that together by configuring the Rubik's Cubes in those boxes. Kudos to them. We just finished some dinner, and uh, we're making our way back home. Right now, we're just chilling at the... Uh, south beach area it's quite quiet and figured we can uh, give you an update from here so in a few weeks we're going to be heading back to the u.s so we're going to be making a video about our experience of booking flights btl all that fun information that <laughs> we had no idea about that's kind of the reason why we've been just out and about these last few weekends we're gonna think about things that we haven't done yet in singapore and just enjoy it while we can but while we were doing that, we, we did start thinking about like, okay, well, what are, what are some things that we'll, we'll miss about Singapore? So I think the biggest difference that we're going to experience is the weather. <laughs> it's going to be almost two years since we've left Singapore, so we have not experienced any other climate, climate yeah. besides here. Which is tropical, year-round, humid, weather and unfortunately we are going back to the US in the winter December right when winter starts we'll be in the New England area for most of the time we will be prepared to get very cold what uh, what else are we gonna miss mm, good cheap food tonight for example, we went to Glutton's by the Bay. Small little hawker center right by Esplanade by the Durian. Yep. And it was, I mean, it was cheap. We had uh, a margarita pizza, which was a first for a hawker stall. And that was like 12 bucks for a 12 inch pie. And we had some traditional char kway tiao, which is one of our go-to dishes when we go to a hawker center. And that was five bucks. You can't get that good of quality of food for that price in my opinion like when I think five dollars which is what like four ish US dollars I'm thinking Taco Bell and I don't mind Taco Bell but it's like a different like they're cooking this stuff right in front of you Fresh. yeah another uh, thing we'll probably miss is going well I mean this is related to the weather is going to the beach I think we went at least twice a month mm -hmm to the beach here in Sentosa and it's just super convenient like we can take public transport and it's just nice to have like a white sandy beach where we can go into the water because it's warm enough mm -hmm. get some sun and yeah that's not something we're used to because the last what like 
10 years that we had been in Boston area, you gotta drive pretty far for a beach and you are not going into that water. It is way too cold. So we'll definitely miss the tropical beachy environment here. And another thing we'll miss is uh, cheap transportation. I mean, the train here, the MRT is wonderful. It's clean, uh, it's timely. Mm -hmm. um, and once we get back to Boston, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to certain smells or <laughs> certain sights that maybe we were used to before. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's what you expect in a subway when you think about an American subway, I guess. <laughs> And it's expensive too. Like in Boston, I don't even know what the price is these days, but it's probably the equivalent of what, like four sing dollars for one way. Whereas here, it depends on where you're going. It can be as cheap as like 90 cents-ish. It's really cheap and it just gets you everywhere super quickly. Yeah, so we're gonna miss that. And even just taking like a grab or a taxi here is like very reasonable compared to what we're used to with Uber in the uh, States. The other side to that story is we will have a car, mm -hmm. so we will be driving when we need to, and that's kind of convenient too, I guess, so. But I'm hoping that. the weather oh, is yeah. not snowy, nasty, icy roads. Yeah, that's true. Because I don't look, I'm not looking forward to that kind of driving condition. Yeah, so those are probably the main points, I'd say, in terms of like what we're gonna miss. Um, but we are certainly looking forward to traveling back to the States and I imagine we'll do another similar video with things about what we don't miss about Singapore while we're back in the States. And uh, before that, we definitely will post something about things to consider when it comes to booking travel plans, um, particularly from Singapore to anywhere else. Traveling during COVID days are not fun and uh, we weren't able to find a lot of content around it, so stay tuned for some content around uh, traveling during COVID times. All right, until next time. Bye guys.